I was born a refugee in another country. Children that were born after we got our independence are basically still going through the same situation we went through. These are kids that were born after we had a nation and they don't deserve to hold that refugee title or to be seeking services in a foreign country. They, they, they have a home and that's where they belong. I founded a women's organization called Crown the Women South Sudan that focuses on women empowerment. The second major aspect we focus on is child protection and under child protection we do activities on peace building and our other initiative called Play for Peace South Sudan. What we try to use games in schools among us the little kids to preach the message of peace because it seems to be the only language they understand perfectly. I think the biggest challenge we have in South Sudan is the high level of illiteracy because over 70% of the population are illiterate. I believe in that saying of if you educate a woman, you educate a nation. And so if we push for more girl child education, we will have a bigger number of educated women who will want to see their kids go to school. Women empowerment to me means give them education, empower them with education and whatever choices they will make will be up to them. I think peace is very, very possible because it costs nothing to live in, in, in harmony and it costs everything to be at war with someone else.